Hi guys, uh, welcome back to Kitchen Wall Gamers and welcome back to my kitchen. So in this video, um, basically what's happened is I've been asked quite a few times of how I make uh, my battlefield, um, i.e. the fields and the hedges. So in this video, I'm going to go and um, show you how to make them. Um, different types of fields, some we've uh, created in, sorry if my head's in the way, um, and uh, obviously the hedges. And uh, from here, uh, I'll show you how to do the winter ones as well. Um, yeah, so just want to show you. Forget this fun video, okay? Uh, this is bought a uh, hedge, a um, couple of quid for this piece of hedge. So as you can imagine, if you want to equip a whole battlefield, it could cost quite a lot. Whereas uh, mine ones, um, as I show you as we go along don't cost uh, much at all, um, except for the initial price, which is just a few quid, and you can make uh, loads of hedges, and the same with the fields. So I must apologise if you already know this, and you do it yourself. Um, obviously, um, this is probably not for you, or it could give you some ideas, um, but this is for uh, guys first starting out, and just to show how I do it. Okay, so what I'll do is uh, remove this field, and uh, we'll get up close and personal, and I'll show you how I go about it. Okay, see you soon guys. Hi guys, uh, welcome back. So, um, I've got the stuff laid out here. I'll just go through um, how I go about it and then um, I'll show you it being made. Okay, um, if you've already done these, you'll know they're just carpet tiles uh, bought individually from a local uh, DIY shop and then various colours. So the colours depend on how you want your fields to look. Okay, this brown one, uh, this is what I've used for that one. Now you'll notice uh, a difference in the colours and basically I dry brush over a different uh, brown just to give it some depth in areas and I've also put these craters on as well. Um, so we'll go through that. Uh, the next uh, field, I've not actually used this colour um, but it's a, a darker sandy colour and I'll just show you compared to the one underneath. Um, so I'm going to be using this one uh, try it out just for different variations on fields and the last one is this one and this is the one I normally use well I have used specifically for everything else and again uh, you can see make up these different colors um, what I've done is sprayed onto here in different patches and areas just to break, break the color up but you don't need to do that you could just leave it the one color okay materials are used uh, I've got this uh, artistic acrylic uh, paint, cheap from a local um, hobby store. And basically what I use these for is the craters. So when I make a crater, I put this in the middle and smear it about, but I'll show you how I go about that. Next, uh, this is for the hedges, um, which I'll do in the next video, but this is a spray paint I use for the hedges, again from a local DIY store. Uh, the colour, uh, this is um, Oxford Green, uh, gloss one. Uh, this is the one I use, but you can use different colours, greens, if you want it lighter or darker. Next, the good old um, Citadel Zandri Dust. Um, this is to put the shade in on this lighter coloured uh, field. Next, you need plenty of um, good sharp craft knives to uh, cut them. And this spirit level, uh, I've had for years uh, for doing DIY in the house, but it's very good for giving you a straight edge. And as you can see, it, it covers um, all of that lot. So that'll make it easier for you when it comes to cutting. And um, I think that's it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is go away and I'm gonna work on this field and show you how I go about uh, doing it. Okay, see you soon guys. Hi guys, welcome back. So I've got everything ready and I'm going to be working on this uh, lighter coloured one um, because this is the one I've uh, used throughout uh, my other ones. Um, normally uh, when we first started doing these it was in the summer so we did everything outside so not to um, cut the place apart. Um, so basically I've got an, uh, another mat, the darker one, um, I'll put on the table to use as a cutting mat on top of this one. Okay so the fields themselves then, you can cut them any size you want to, there's no specific rule, it's just however you like them. Um, but what I'm going to do, you can cut them straight down and have uh, squared or you know, oblong or whatever, as long as they've got straight edges, 
uh, that makes it better for the hedges as well when you're setting up the table. So what I want to do with these, uh, the reason why I'm doing them at the moment is uh, I've used quite a few to do, um, especially the hedges, sorry, not the fields. Uh, I'll show you my winter uh, field, how I'll go about them in a bit. But the hedges, uh, I've had to wipe them up for uh, summer, uh, summer, for winter. So I've used quite a few up, so I'll need some more. And what I'm doing at the moment as well is um, putting together a six foot uh, by four foot table. Um, it's in sections and basically what I'm going to do is um, bring in a uh, pasting board, um, a high quality one which is made of uh, plastic and steel um, which we've used um, for you know when we've done decorating and stuff but I think it's brilliant. It's outside anyway so I'll just bring it in and set it up. So that's what I'm working on at the moment and I need more fields. So let's get started then. I uh, hope it all fits in the camera okay. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this um, straight down the middle and then I'm going to do along there. So I've got two small ones and two bigger fields. Okay, I won't show you everything, I'll just show you cutting it and stuff. Okay, so what you need to do is turn it over and then with this one, what you want to do, you can measure out uh, the exact middle, but like I say, it, it doesn't really matter. So I get roughly the middle and if I don't hit the cameras and cut in, follow your line and cut straight down. And again, and one more. Okay, I don't know if you can see that line now that's been cut. Now it's been cut over a few times. So what you do is you lift it up and it's almost done like that. And then all I do is, sorry, this is not fitting on is it? What I'm gonna do next is run the knife uh, fold it in half like that. Let's see if we can do it this way. Okay, and you can see where it's been pre cut at the moment. Now get your knife and just cut along there like that. And there you've got two halves. Now you could leave these as long big fields, or like I'm going to do, I'm going to cut them in half again. Right, uh, I don't know if my uh, elbow was in the way before, so I'm going to cut it this way. So I'm going to cut this one in half again, like I say roughly, there's no, um, you can measure it out to be exact if you want to, but yeah, that's not me. <laughs> okay, there we are, cut a few times. And it bends in the middle again. And then run your knife down that way you've cut. Okay, and there we have two pieces. So I'm gonna put these aside and concentrate on one. Right, as you can see, um, you've got all these knobbly bits. And what you can do with them is this method I'm doing now, which my wife loves because it makes a mess everywhere. But like I say, I usually do it outside. That neatens that off. And the same down here. Now, if it doesn't neaten off and you've got some uh, wiggly bits, what you do is get a pair of scissors and just cut down and around on this side as well. So guys, I'm working off camera at the moment, so you must uh, must apologize if um, you can't see what I'm doing because I can't see what I'm filming. Um, okay, so there we are, one field. Now what I do, like I say, just to break the color up, you can leave it like that, or well, just to break the colour up, what I do is get some sandry dust and I spray in certain areas across it just to uh, mix it up a bit. Now for this, obviously, I'm in my kitchen, so I'll have to go outside and do it. So I'll come back in a minute, guys, and uh, show you how I've got on. See you soon. Okay, welcome get back, guys. Um, so I've taken that bit of carpet out and I give it a spray. And I've also started on the, uh, the craters for it as well. So... There it is, as you can see the difference. And if it shows up, you can see the variation in the color. That's using Zendry dust. Now the craters, basically using black spray, you just spray straight in the middle. And if you can tell that, those there, the spray just off from the middle gives you that um, burning effect going across as well. So <clears throat> what else to do with the, uh, the craters as well? 
I'm going to get the uh, acrylic paint, which is cheap from uh, a hobby store. Give it a shake. Now what I do, I'm just checking that I'm going to get this on camera. Yep. What I do is put a bit right in the middle. Oh, I've got to take all the tabs off first. You can tell it's new. Um, okay, I'll just pause this while I get these uh, tabs off. Hang on a sec. I'll be back soon. Okay, so I'm ready to use it now. Okay, so what you do is you put a blob of it in the center of the crate. Just like that. I don't know if it picks up all right with black on black. And then this is where you get dirty. You get your finger and just rub it in. Now you might have to do this a few times just to fill it out. But the paint that doesn't, you don't, I um, don't know if you can see that guys. That you don't rub all of it in you leave like the outer edge and that will dry like that so it'll give you that bit of a crater look again on this other one and the one on the back sorry about my arm guys if it's in the way i'll just move around to the side more there we go now another technique i have used on this is using filler as well uh, just like i've done with the paint put a bit of filler in and squirrel that around and then go over with your uh, black spray okay so that's basically it this is the same technique uh, for all the the fields that you're seeing with the the carpets and quick and easy to make um, and ready to go on the battlefield um, easy to pack away as well you just stack them on top of each other in a box and um, yeah Bob's your uncle as you say okay so that's the fields uh, what I'm going to do is set up for the hedges now and the the way I make the hedges and the material that you use for the hedges, um, you can use for fields as well. Um, sort of like, um, oh, the name's gone straight on me, I like um, a hay field or something like that. But you'll see when I, I come across the next bit. Okay, so I'll see you soon guys while I set that up. Okay, welcome back guys. And here we get ready for the hedges. Now, as you can see, it's basically a doormat and probably a lot of you know that and use this already. But if you haven't, that's what I've used. Cheap doormat. As you can see, I've used the back of it for spray models. <laughs> Cheap doormat. And uh, with this, um, all the battles you've seen and all the hedges have been made off just one of these uh, with some to spare. So, yeah, like I say, there is a brought um, one that you can buy, uh, which is that. And... Um, yeah, it's all right, but that's a few quid just on its own. So to make as many hedges as I do, it costs a fortune probably. Um, just compare it to a, one I've already made. So as you can see, there is a slight height difference. Um, but as you know, it's a game. So a hedge is a hedge. Um, you can have it to block all sight or part sight. But basically, as you know, with hedges, it's um, just soft cover. So that's one already. Sorry, the sun's coming out in the kitchen. Look at that, the sun. It's been uh, snowing for the last few days here where I live. Okay, so how do we go about it? Now, basically, all you do is cut out the length you, you, you have for your hedge. And um, yeah, you can either cut it this way or straight along the edge that way so you can make uh, longer hedges. But like I say, as you're setting up the game, you might have to cut them. And as you can see, this one's been cut. So easy to do, bear a snip. So it'll always fit your battlefield, which is the best thing I like about it. So what I'm gonna do is go down this shorter edge. Just um, if we can keep it on camera. Okay, so turn it over. This is from a local uh, DIY store again, uh, a few quid. Um, just get that into, into shot. And it's the same again. So basically what I do is I get one I've already used just see if that will line up, yeah. And then put your straight edge up against that. Going all the way down. So you, you could measure out about an inch, which is what I did when I first started, but because I got some already uh, done, um, that's what I'm using. So put some weight on your straight edge and cut down just like the other. Going out of breath, cutting it, what's going on? Okay, I'm not weighing down too much because I don't want to go underneath and uh, cut my battle mat. But you can see once you've cut through and then the rest, 
I'm just checking the camera, it just pulls away like that. Okay, and then what you're left with is your hedge. Now you can keep it that colour or whatever colour you wanted your hedges, light green, dark green. Uh, I'll show you how I'll do the winter ones in a bit. But that's your hedge. Leave it that length until it comes when you're setting up and then you can cut it to the shape. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, down the sides, um, you can get loose bits. So all you do is just pick at it like that, or get a pair of scissors and cut down just to neaten it all up. Um, but there is a lot of mess as you can see. So um, yeah, if you can guys do it outside so your wife doesn't kill you like mine will probably do because she walks in. So oh, that's space at the edge. And then what I use um, from my DIY store again is this uh, painter's. Now it is a gloss, but as you can see others have used it on, it's not too bad. If it is, what you can do is spray over with uh, a matte spray varnish. I usually get mine from uh, Games Workshop, um, but if you can get hold of any more um, matte varnish, uh, that'll take the colour away. And like I say, what you can do as well, guys, just move this out of the way, is you can use this to make fields as well. So if you wanted to, what you could do is uh, cut it in half, use half for hedges and half for um, fields as well. Um, but like I say, it's up to you how you use it. Okay, so I'm not going to go away and spray it because I've already got these here. What you do is put them on the board outside, uh, have them all lined up and just give them a good spray. Um, yeah, and that's it. If it. Like I'm using this gloss. If you can find a matte one, brilliant. But even if a gloss just looks like that. And like I say, you can spray over with uh, matte varnish. Now to do the winter... Uh, ones and I don't I haven't put any in with me uh, they're all outside still uh, just double check over here no well I found these though I'll just show you these what I've done is dry brushed over again with uh, an acrylic paint um, from a hobby store uh, a different shade of green so it gives it a bit a bit more texture rather than just being flat so it's how you want to go about it guys but this is the basic principle of it. And basically what I do for the winter ones is I have it at this stage and then, excuse me, from the top, I spray white spray paint and that gives it the frosted effect. And um, yeah, that's good for your winter like you've seen in my uh, solo games, uh, winter battles. Um, and it looks quite effective. Um, okay, so one more thing to show you, and that is the uh, the card that I use for uh, my winter rare uh, fields. Um, I'll just pop away, try and find it, and see you in a sec, guys. Okay, found it. Welcome back, guys. So the colour of this is like um, a very um, light green, um, almost like, um, well, sort of like a, a frosted green, if you know what I mean. And this drew me to uh, do my winter fields because of that colour. And as you can see, I, I use this for a spray mat as well. But also, this was my tester as well. Uh, slightly the others um, from a local DIY store. So here you can see where I tested it out for winter battlefields. And this is what you see on my table. And it's just using white spray paint. Uh, going on at different... Do the whole lot first and then do different spots so it's not all the same so you get like a slight variation in the colour and uh, as you can see over spray from where I've been spraying things um, but yeah this was my tester so you can see how it was before and just the use of uh, white spray paint has given me my um, frosted fields look um, yeah so I think that's pretty much it guys. Uh, I hope I've been able to show you something. Um, and if you already know all this, uh, sorry for taking your time. But uh, I must give a shout out to On Tabletop, um, the Wargaming channel, because years and years ago when they were uh, Beasts of War, um, they showed how they make the fields using these carpets and, and doing this sort of technique. And uh, I've taken the inspiration off them um, to do this. Um, I used to do it before, uh, before I stopped wargaming altogether and got rid of everything. So it was just going back on my memory to uh, do these. And I think for a, a cheap uh, gaming table setup like I've got, because I can't have 
a dedicated ga gaming table where it's you know it's already set up and everything looks fantastic like you do see gaming tables out there I have to pack everything away and this is the best easiest and cheapest way of doing it I find so won't bore you anymore guys uh, just like to say thanks for uh, everyone subscribing and uh, please leave um, a like in the comments and uh, thank you for watching and see you soon guys and in the meantime just remember to make it paint it and play it see you soon guys bye